hello and welcome to email test skills video tutorial in this video tutorial we will learn how to upgrade postgre uh, lower version to higher version using pg underscore upgrade utility so first uh, let's of all uh, uh, let's understand what is pg underscore uh, upgrade utility in postgre sql so pg underscore upgrade utility is uh, is also known as pg underscore migrator in earlier version of postgre sql and it is a utility which is used to uh, to upgrade the postgre instance from lower version to higher version let's say if i have to upgrade my postgre instance from 10 to to 12 I can use uh, pg underscore upgrade utility so pg underscore upgrade utility supports uh, upgrade uh, uh, from 8.4 uh, uh, dot star version to the uh, latest uh, uh, version the current version is 12 and 13th is the Vita uh, version so this particular utility pg underscore upgrade is not applicable for minor minor upgrade that means if uh, let's say if i am on 10.1 and if i wanted to upgrade it to 10.2 this is this is not valid so uh, this is a uh, utility which is uh, used to upgrade from lower to higher version and see uh, let's see how how it is used pg underscore upgrade if you say pg underscore upgrade hyphen hyphen l uh, you will see the different options uh, the first option is hyphen small b which represents to the uh, uh, older uh, cluster having the uh, executable location if i say capital b that means uh, uh, the new cluster uh, executable location if i simply say hyphen uh, c it means i can check the status whether this particular uh, pg underscore upgrade can upgrade from one version to another uh, version or not hyphen small d represents the uh, data directory of older cluster hyphen capital d represents for the uh, data directory of uh, new cluster and um, some other important parameters are hyphen small p which represents the port number of older cluster hyphen p represents the port number of a new cluster you can mention the username if there is a uh, some other user other than postgres you can mention that hyphen v is used to for verbose you can see the proceedings on the uh, screen as well so how do we uh, use the pre uh, uh, pg underscore upgrade utility so what we have to do before running this utility you have to create a new cluster uh, and you have to instantiate is uh, uh, instantiate it using the init db and uh, once you instantiate the new cluster uh, in our case uh, the demo which is which we are going to perform is from 10 to 12 upgrade uh, so uh, there will be one instance of postgres equal 10 and another will be uh, postgres equal 12 so we will upgrade from postgres equal 10 to postgres equal 12 so you have to shut down the older uh, uh, instance and uh, you have to uh, to shut down the uh, the uh, new uh, instance as well before we use use this uh, upgrade utility so what happens in the background when you uh, upgrade uh, use this utility so uh, what it does it uh, it it copies the the uh, data from older uh, data directory to the newer data directory and uh, since there will be two cluster one will be on 10g 10 and another will be on 12 so you have to make sure that you give the exact location of data directory of old location new location uh, binary directory location of old environment and the new environment so this is how do we use the pg upgrade pg upgrade hyphen d a small d represents the uh, older cluster data directory location capital d represents the new data directory location and uh, then uh, small b represents the uh, bin location of older cluster capital b represents the bin location of uh, a new cluster so let's see the demo now and uh, the demo which we are going to perform is like this so in the demo what we will do is uh, we are going to upgrade postgres equal 10 to postgres equal 12 on rhel 7.5 and we will be uh, upgrading one database which is dvd rental or it is applicable for all the databases which are hosted on the older cluster so let's perform it. 
so I have listed all the steps here in a notepad. So we are going to execute this. This is a step-by-step -step procedure to upgrade PostgreSQL 10 to PostgreSQL uh, 12. So I have a Linux system. The IP address is 192.168.1.56. I have the root access and I'm logged in as Mova Xtrum. So in this step, first I'll check whether I have the internet, internet activity, uh, activated on my system or not. So I'll just say ping google.com. So this is working fine. In the step two, it is everything from the beginning. So I'm going to install um, the uh, PostgreSQL 10 version. So yum install PostgreSQL 10 hyphen server PostgreSQL 10. So I'm going to uh, install this. This entire uh, demo is going to take at least uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So once we uh, Install this, we have to instantiate it. Yes, the packages will be downloaded. It is very, very fast. The next step is uh, we'll say uh, Postgres equal 10 hyphen setup. Uh, space in it DB. This is going to initialize the uh, database and uh, your data directory will be created. This is done. Once it is done, you just switch to Postgre user, sudo su space minus Postgre, just clearing the screen. Once it is done, you just try to start it using sudo system ctl start Postgre SQL 10. Once it is done, just check the status, sudo system CTL status, PostgreSQL 10. You can see that uh, it is in running status. Now let's do, let's load uh, uh, sample data. So I have uh, a database uh, in uh, uh, copied here in all.sql. So I'm just going to import that. Once it is done, uh, we will log into PostgreSQL prompt and we'll see what is the uh, database hosted over there. So I have a number of databases. Uh, mostly it is DVD rental. This is just to showcase like how uh, this database will be migrated from, uh, sorry, upgraded from 10 to 12. Just say PSQL and so I have DVD rental. Uh, DVD rental, DVD rental underscore new, DVD rental underscore now, restore DVD rental, and there are so many uh, uh, DVD rental databases. So I'll just quit out of this, and then we will go to the step three. Um, so we have performed two steps, and now we are going to install the newer version of uh, PostgreSQL. So in this, we are going to install PostgreSQL 12. So yeah, this has to be done as the root user. So we'll say yum install PostgreSQL 12 hyphen server. And this all will be mentioned in the command section. It's very, very easy. And just say yes. So this will be downloaded. Once it is downloaded, you just have to go to the complete location of the a, the binary location and then you have to execute it because you have two clusters now one is on 10g and another is on 12 uh, so usr slash pg sql 12 bin postgres equal 12 hyphen setup in a db so we are going to initialize it once it is initialized what we have to do is we will switch as the postgre user and we have to start the new instance of Postgre, but this is not possible on the default port. So we have to change the default port of 5432 to some other value. So what we am going to do is, so we are going to add it, uh, the PostgreSQL.conf of 12, PostgreSQL 12. And we will replace 5432, which is the default port to the new port because you cannot run two instances on the same port. So you have to change it to some other value. 
so I'm giving 5433 this is the newer port and then we will restart the PostgreSQL just starting and then check the status so you can see we have it is running now we have two instance running as PostgreSQL so check instances are running or not so we will say ps ef grab postgre uh, postmaster which is the main background process so you can see one postgre master is running out of ps equal 10 and another from 12 and the data directory are different now using the pgctl we have to check the status of both the cluster so we'll say pgctl and this has to be from the uh, postgresql 10 version and then we will give the location of the data directory and then just say status so you can say that uh, pgctl server uh, is running then similarly we'll do it for 12 so you just make sure that you give the uh, location of your uh, 10 and 12 postgresql uh, respectively so this is also running server is running then what we are going to do is we have to stop both PostgreSQL instances so using the pgctl only we have to stop it so pgctl hyphen d data directory location and I'll just say stop so the PostgreSQL 10 instances stopped now we are stopping the uh, PostgreSQL 12 instance so pgctl hyphen d and data directory location and then stop it is done just check the status using the status command instead of a stop we'll just say status it is not running we'll similarly check it for 12 you can see that it is not running so both are not running we can check it from the background process which is ps hyphen ef grab postmaster just execute it and there you can see there is not no output this is just reflection of the uh, the command which we executed now we will check if the cluster is ready for the upgrade or not so i'll explain the what is this all script is about so this is pg upgrade which is from the newer uh, so slash usr pg sql 12 bin uh, uh, the pg underscore upgrade is from uh, postgres equal 12 hyphen hyphen old data directory what is the location of old data directory or the location of old data directory is this one hyphen hyphen new data directory this is the location of postgres equal 12 and then we will give the location of old uh, binary location of postgres equal 10 so this is usr pgsql 10 hyphen bin then we will give the location of uh, bin directory of postgres equal 12 hyphen c is just to check whether our cluster can be upgraded or not so you can see that uh, checking cluster version then checking database user is install user or not then it is checking the connections whether it is it can connect to both the instances or not then it is checking whether clusters are compatible whether it can be upgraded from lower version to higher version that is postgresql 10 to 12 so everything is fine so now we will invoke the same command without uh, uh, the um, uh, without hyphen C option so that means it is PG upgrade we have given the location of old data directory new data directory we have given the location of old binary directory and we have given the location of new binary directory so the first option will be for the existing environment and the next will be for the new environment and just press enter so this is going to take few minutes depending upon the size of the database you can see that creating dump of the database schema so it is taking all the databases one by one and this will copy and paste from uh, postgres equal 10 to 12. so behind the scenes it is doing a number of things it is analyzing it is restoring the objects from one is uh, from lower version to higher version so it has created two scripts to analyze the new cluster if in case you wanted to analyze it and the another script is used to delete the old cluster what we will do now is we will start the new cluster 
uh, let's stop it first if it is started we'll say pgctl hyphen d and uh, data directory location and stop it is not running so we can say either start it or if it is not starting what we will do is we will change the okay server status is running and sometimes it uh, it creates the problem and what we have to do is in postgresql.conf we have to change the uh, the port number So the port number, let's make it 5432 as it was there in the older, uh, older, uh, what do you say, the uh, the PostgreSQL 10. So let's let's start it, stop and start again, and we will try to connect. It has stopped using the PGCTL again. Start it. It has started. Let's try to log in. PSQL just says hyphen L and you will see all the databases DVD rental DVD rental underscore new then now and there was a user also which is user 2 underscore remote if something is not migrated that it will it will show you like user run this script so we are not going to analyze it now and uh, I just wanted to keep it for some more time the older cluster and if you don't need it just you just go and delete it quit and delete the older cluster so we have a new cluster now so I'll, I'll revisit what we have done is in our demo we uh, we installed PostgreSQL 10 we initialized the cluster uh, then we imported some data which was having a DVD rental database then we installed newer version of uh, PostgreSQL 12 then we we changed the directory from 5432 to 5433 because we cannot run two instances on one uh, uh, one port then we started the PostgreSQL 12 then we stopped uh, both the servers PostgreSQL 10 and 12 using pgctl command and uh, it has to be from respective uh, binary location uh, then we using the pg upgrade uh, uh, command we mentioned the location of old directory of of uh, existing environment and new environment then we mentioned the bin directory location of older environment and newer environment and we mentioned the hyphen c to check whether the cluster can be upgraded or not and finally we uh, fired the same command without hyphen c and we upgraded the cluster within no time because the data was very less then we started the new cluster we changed uh, the the port from 5432 to 543 Three three two five four three uh, two, and then we ver uh, verified if the database is copied or not. So this was all about uh, the PG upgrade utility to upgrade a uh, PostgreSQL 10 to PostgreSQL 12 on RHECL 7.5. I hope this is going to help, and all the commands will be there in the comment section. And thanks for watching.